Hi guys, my name is Centerboy360, and today I'm going to be talking about Doki Doki Literature Club. Uh, spoilers for the game, if you care, but uh, spoiler alert one last time. Don't. It's not worth caring about. Um, it is, Doki Doki Literature Club is a visual novel that is also, you know, psychological horror. Well, at least that's what it says on the can, right? Um, and if you've ever played any visual novels, you'll know that there are typically two types of visual novels. Uh, one is you're literally just reading a book that has pretty pictures and music, um, which is okay. Uh, it's fine. And the other one is a basically choose-your-own-adventure, where you... You know, pick and choose your way through your story, and if you mess up, ah, you have to redo it, and you fix it, and the goal is usually to get to that happy ending, or, you know, to whatever ending you desire. Um, and what I heard Doki Doki Literature Club is a visual novel with psychological horror moments, I'm like, okay, so you've got some chicks who are all suicidal, and your goal is to save them. No. No, that's that's not what it is. It's... The game's retarded is what it is. The game is is just that. It's it's just a typical, ordinary, ha meta video game. And it's... It's not even very creative. Like, you go into the game and you're making all these decisions. You're going through, you know, each day... Yeah, you know, trying to make the correct poem for each girl, uh, and trying to get them to like you, and you can kind of tell that they're all a little messed up in the head, and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna go through the game and try to fix it, um, and I, you know, of course, uh, you go through the game and you run into the bad ending, and you're like, ah, shit, ah, fuck, let me redo it, you know, let me, let me, let me go back and play it again as all of them do the whole point is that you go through and you find the good ending let, let me go find that good ending <sighs> and then the character's just deleted um she's just gone now she died in the game and then she died and was just deleted from the game and i i, I didn't want to play a game where oh spooky oh the characters know they're in a video game oh and they're screwing with the game to screw with you he 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 the only way to win is not to play ho 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 undertale already did that like two years ago stop just stop undertale already did it why why do i need to see this again it's simple I don't like I like Undertale. Here's the difference, right? One is a actual video game. Undertale is an actual video game. It has actual gameplay mechanics, and there are three legitimate routes. If you take the third and last route, you're kind of a scumbag, and the game tells you you're a scumbag for it. But you know, you know that's that's it. You're just you know. You're a scumbag for taking the third route, but it's not like the other routes weren't an option. If you wanted to just stop playing at the good route, like I actually did, because, uh, you know, I don't want to kill anyone. I just wanted to save everyone. Uh, you know, they, they let you do that. And Doki Doki Literature Club is a horror game, you know, Five Nights at Freddy's style. Ooh, except there are no choices. There's no winning. You could get through just as much of the game progress by just smashing the left button, muting your game. You don't even have to look at the screen. And just smashing the right, the, just whatever button pops up on your screen. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. It doesn't matter what you do in this game. You're always going to get to the exact same goddamn path. With the exception of, like, really minor things that you would never even, never even think of. And it's, it's, that, it's not like it actually matters. Because at the end of the day, your game deletes itself in Doki Doki. And wow. I don't care. I just, I don't, I don't care. Um, 
I think one thing that really bothers me about Doki Doki is that I am legitimately haunted. Like, I'm not, like, the game wasn't scary, but it was haunting, you know. They got that part down, but I, I signed up to play a game where I can control something and go figure you can't not really you have like you know a few requirements for advancing the story but that's that's it you don't have to pay attention in the slightest to beat it um if you were thinking about playing doki doki i guess you can watch just watch a let's play you'll get a better experience out of that um go play undertale again which I didn't even like that much. I didn't even like Undertale. But still better than Doki. Ah, uh, hey, hit a la Ah, uh, God. <laughs> hit the like button if for some reason you found this small rant even remotely enjoyable. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're completely insane. And donate to me on Patreon if you're actually suicidal and you would like some tips and tricks. Uh, I promise I won't delete your save file. Uh, God, I hate Doki Doki. See ya.